everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we are working on page four, page four. And I gotta move a couple of these things out of the way. I had something on it, so I forgot they were still in, in view. So we're working on page four and page four is gonna be a mirror image of page five, which I've already built out. And I will show that to you real quick so you know where we're headed here. So this is page five. We've got this nice large six inch flap so we've got a, a lot of space here for larger photos. In the rest of the album, we've got a lot of smaller spaces um, and tuck spots for smaller photos. So I wanted to make sure inside the album, we had a couple of spots for um, larger or more like an array of photos. Okay, so this is, that's an insert and a flap. So this is what we're going to do on page four. But it's gonna be a mirror image. So we're gonna start with this six and a half six and a half by eight inch flap and it's going to get installed on the right hand side of your pocket page there we go easy peasy we're going to add a magnet to hold it down there must be a magnet on the other side but I'm gonna have to move it. It needs to be a little further in, a little further in. I've got a magnetic mat here, so it wants to stick to that as well, which I have mixed feelings about. I thought I was gonna love it, but I don't, partly because it's um, metric on the side and uh, imperial across the bottom, and that can be confusing. I messed up and thought these were inches the other day because I'm so used to it being a square and I um, miscut something because of that. So like I said, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. Oh, I thought I had already taken one off. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Super warm day here in San Diego. It's, it's unusual for us to run our air, but it's just been so warm. So hopefully if it kicks on, I can get most of that background noise out with my software. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was going right side uh, orientation, and I am. There we go. And then um, we're also going to add a pocket here. And this pocket is five by four and a half. Five by four and a half. You're gonna score at half inch and four and a half. Rotate it and score a half inch. You'll have a finished four by four pocket. sticking out there. There we go. Okay, and then the last thing is we're gonna add a flap to the top, and this flap is three and five eighths by four and one quarter. Three and five eighths across, four and a quarter deep. Score half inch on the four and a quarter side. Now I'm just gonna eyeball it, but from the edge of this um, flap to the corner, you wanna center it. Okay, pretty good, we're moving along. Okay, so this is what we're going to put on the six inch flap, and this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. on the edge so I can see where the edge of the flap is for placement. There we go. That was easy. OK. 
Okay, so the top flap has the pumpkin, the purple pumpkin, which comes from the patterns and solids. Oops. <clears throat> And then we're going to line it with this pattern. Make sure it fits in the pocket. Yes, it does. Patterns and solids again. right here and this is also from the patterns and solids. This is from the 12 by 12. It was the slice that I got off this. This is the reverse side. And it's inked. Okay, it goes so fast when I'm prepared. I just built five, so I really, once I build one of the pages, especially four and five, because it's even the same patterns, um, it goes really quick. I'm sure it does for you as well. Okay, now we are going to do. <clears throat> the inside. So we're going to use this, uh, the black cats. This is from the patterns and solids also. In fact, everything on the inside is patterns and solids. Ugh. Oh, I don't need to. Okay. I panicked. I thought I had a four inch panel, but we're putting it on a six inch panel. So let me tell you what I did here. This is trimmed four inches wide. So it's from, ugh, I did it again. It's not short enough. I thought I had gone through this already. Uh, it needs to be eight and seven eighths. I mean, seven and seven eighths. And I need an ink pad. Okay, sorry about that. So it's four by seven and seven eighths. So you're gonna need two of those um, for this and two for page uh, five. So it's gonna be exactly the same. So as you can see, we're short and we're gonna fill that gap with um, green, with the green pattern. Now, I need to wait for this to dry. This is the green that's going to go here. It's going to be trimmed to fit after we place this. So I'm just going to lay this down gently and put a mark here. I know I have to trim it. So our green needs to be trimmed down about like that. It's not eight inches tall. Ah. Oh, there it is. I'd already cut it. That was an extra piece. Okay, so this is gonna go like so. I still need to trim this. It's too wide. About right there. And I'm just killing time till this all dries. And then we can reapply it. And then this is actually gonna get trimmed to fit exactly in place. So I can tell you though, we are gonna split it right here at the hinge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we may wind up taking off a little bit on each one. Okay. 
So it's going to go like this. This will go here, like so. And then we'll have the other black panel right here in just a minute. While we're waiting for it to dry, we can work on the insert for this, which is going to hold our flap in place. So it's going to be the same pattern, this moon green. Okay, now I'm going to add this little strip, which says Fright Night. So I've already cut it out. It um, is the flip side of the black cat, and this is from the 12 by 12. And you can, it's easy to tell because the eight by eight, the scale is so much smaller. So this needs to be trimmed down just a little bit. Normally, I um, would color block between these three, but I'm just going to lay it down. I'm going to pull in page five's insert so that I can make them pretty close um, in terms of how far down from the top I go. Okay. And uh, it looks like I, mm, I'll measure it, but I think it's about three quarters of an inch down. And I'm not sure how wide this strip is. I just followed the um, the border on the on the print itself. Okay, so I'll tell you, I came down. It's a half inch, about five eighths of an inch. Uh, oh, I'll tell you from the top of the uh, from the top of the black cardstock three quarters of an inch is where this is at. Okay, that's gonna go in this pocket and hold our little flap all together. So I think that turned out nice. Okay, um, I think I'm good enough here. I can trim this a little bit. Okay, we'll ink that edge. the page upside down but I'm not I'm not we're good okay there we go Let's push that down real quick okay this goes back into page five okay now we're ready to make these a little bit more precise Pretty good, is it? Remember when you're color blocking, oh wow, I got heavy there. Um, it's, it's important to um, put a little mark on both ends, uh, just in case this didn't go in straight or the pocket didn't go in straight, which caused this to be at a slight angle. This is where you're gonna straighten everything up. The last piece that goes in is where you'll find where you where you will recover uh, visually. So if I needed to cut it at a very slight angle, that this is where I would do it. Okay, that's 
in. Now one more side. And that looks perfect, but it's not because it's too too far into the hinge itself. So it would buckle when we open it closed. That's it. Okay, um, if you've gotten, well, I don't know if you're building it in the page order or if you're building it in the build order. If you're in the build order, by now you know I haven't done page one and eight, so that's what's coming up next. Then the cover, and then we're gonna get this released. So um, for, for a larger scale album, I've pretty much done this in record time. Um, although at this point in my paper crafting career, there's not a whole lot of uh, new stuff that I'm introducing. It's just reusing and mixing. Okay, so that, that's that. It's a very simple page um, intentionally so that you would have large um, layout area. So again, these panels are six inches wide finished. So you could do um, trim down, slightly trim down a four by six easily, or you could do a series of three by threes, four by fours, four by six, any combination thereof. I can't remember if I told you what the measurement on this is, but I will right now. It's three and three quarters by seven and a half, three and three quarters by seven and a half. And of course, all of this is running um, in the bottom of your screen in the banners at the appropriate times. There's page four. Ta-da! magically page five is done page five um and as as usual um if you're new here you don't know this but if you go into the description uh and click on show more um the first thing you're going to see is a material list that'll be followed by a cut list so if you don't see it on the screen don't grab it quick enough it is in the description it's always in there and as long as it is a page video or the walkthrough, you can get the material list. If you're on the base album build, the only um, cut list that you're gonna have is the cut list to build the base. So for all the interactive elements and inserts and those such things, you've gotta go to either a page or a walkthrough. So I did that so that I could keep my base albums independent of paper, so that if you wanted to do your own, you could, but also I could reuse that video. Um, as long as I was doing something in the same size. So that's it for page four and five. Be back soon with the rest of the album.